Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle found out how one exhibit is keeping the memory of this time alive here in the River City. A child of parents that survived the Holocaust, there is so much, so much trauma and so much emotional turmoil that people deal with. It's PTSD, it's exactly the same thing. Yvonne Cohen's parents survived the Holocaust through significant turmoil. Cohen's mother was hidden by a neighbor for two and a half years in Holland. You have to never forget. We have to pass these stories on. Um, prejudice is all around us in many forms. Anti-Semitism is definitely on the rise um, all over the world, even in the United States. And a lot of people are forgetting that this happened. And we can't forget because history does repeat itself. International Holocaust Remembrance Day honors victims and survivors. Currently, there are over 100 Holocaust survivors in the River City. Frisch Family Holocaust Memorial Gallery at the Jewish Family and Community Services Headquarters has a new exhibit highlighting women's roles in the Holocaust. My mother suffered a great deal. She had to give her son away to a non-Jewish family. She had um, uh, she had to terminate a pregnancy when doctors were not allowed to treat women. The women that were left at home had to do everything. They had to take care of the children, they had to work, they had to feed, feed themselves, they had to run the whole household. Several women's stories are presented through the exhibit called Spots of Light. It will be open to the public starting Tuesday. Well, history has a way of repeating itself, and that's something we do not want ever to happen again here in the United States or anywhere in the world. And so people need to know the stories, understand the horror that happened, understand how, how as, a, as other countries we came to that point, and we need to be talking about it so it doesn't happen again. Remembering a time that reshaped the lives of millions of generations and people, one story at a time. Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station.